good morning. What a fantastic day to fly. I mean, we haven't got a cloud in the sky, it's hardly a breeze. Couldn't be any better. Uh, we're 28, 25.8 degrees, it's a clear day. Very little clouds, no clouds. Wind speed, 12.9 kilometers an hour. Coming from the southeast and heading to the north, northwest. I'm going to be flying my Phantom 3 Advanced for this flight. Uh, I'm going to do a waypoint mission. It's been a while since I've had this bird up in the air, so it deserves a flight today on a beautiful day like this. So here we are in the Litchi app. This is a waypoint mission we're going to be doing. It's 13 points. So we're going to uh, start off in the backyard and head up to about an altitude of 50 meters, I've set it to. And we're going to basically come around and hug the tree line as we head towards the base of the mountain at the back here. I'm going to get it up to about 200 metres just to make sure I clear everything very easy. Um, and also privacy issues too, I'd rather be up higher than lower. And uh, we will then descend back down after we, as we head back towards the the neighborhood will head back down to 150 meters and then eventually come above the house at 50 meters where I'll manually land it um, back into the backyard. So we're going to be uh, traveling at about 24 kilometers, 25 kilometers an hour. We've got a distance, total distance we've got to do of 4,625 meters and the time it should take is around 15 minutes. Sit back and relax and enjoy the music while we uh, Enjoy a beautiful day flying. Waypoint, we're up 100 meters in the air. Sitting on about 24 k's an hour. Heading to waypoint four next. Set this, I've set this mission up just to follow a direct path. I can still yaw and rotate the camera where I want it. And it will just fly the path set that I've... flying over my favorite flying area it's a housing estate development site quite a big housing site here looks like they've just continued the road down to the cul-de-sac and they've bitumened up a little bit further as well they're completing it all here there's going to be a lot of housing going in here over the next five years 
The temperature is up around 30 degrees today, uh, Celsius. It's quite warm as we've just come out of winter. We've got a lot of smoke around in the area today, or this morning. They're uh, burning a lot of bushfires, very dry. You can see how dry it is. Haven't had a lot of rain for a while. Um, on top of how dry it is, we've got it's cane season, so all the, some sugar sugar cane is being burnt. I'm not sure what whether that's from the that's a result of all the smoke that you that you can see in the distance, um, or it could be also bushfires or a combination of both. But it's it's, it's relatively smoky here this morning. Now sit back, relax as we fly around the neighbourhood. I'll catch you when we get home.
So as we pan around, you can see the peak of Walsh's Pyramid through the cloud, uh, through the smoke. I think the smoke's coming from that that direction. There must be bushfires down that way, although there is still a lot of sugarcane too. But it doesn't normally get this smoky unless there's a bushfire. So I've got my feeling it's a bit of a bushfire. This one that's drifted all the smoke through. Looks impressive though. I like it. and then I'll just lower it down. There's a few hawks in the area, it's got me a little bit concerned, but they don't seem to bother the phantom too much. As we come back into land now, um, I'm going to go into Air Data UAV. This website is healthydrones.com and this is a recap of the flight. As you can see on the map, that's the path we took from the home and back. Uh, the flight time was 13 minutes and 12 seconds. We took off with 92% battery, landed with 34% using the Litchi app. Total um, kilometres was uh, 4,316 metres. Maximum distance away from us, 1,393 metres. All at full range still. Max altitude we hit was 200.8 metres. And we did a cruising speed of, we sat on 24, 25 kilometres an hour. The battery temperature reached 50 degrees. This next tab is the battery, so it's basically showing you the path in colour of green, green meaning the least amount of, of um, amps used, going through uh, up to purple which is quite dangerous, above 14 amps. Uh, as you can see as we climbed, uh, it turned to yellow meaning we're using more power which is obvious because we're, we're going up. And then as we levelled out and descended, we hung around the, the green so using less battery power. This tab shows you the temperature as it increased during the flight. As you can see at the start, we were down below 30 degrees. And by the end of it, which was around the 12th minute, we're up over, what were we, 50 degrees we were. We reached 50 degrees, so steady sort of temperature rise as the flight um, increased. 
Uh, this tab is a signal strength. Green, uh, green is good signal, orange is fair, red is poor, and purple is very poor. Uh, you can see the signal all the way around is good. It's in the green, except for one little spot where it changed to the orange. Uh, that's probably uh, due to where we've got a tree in a, in a fairly decent bush in the yard. It's probably blocked it. Always get a little bit of a drop out there, but other than that, it shows you a score of 94.7 out of 100, so it's very good. So this is a satellite count, GPS satellite map. Green is excellent GPS reception, orange is good, red is poor, and purple is dangerous. So we started off with 12 satellites. Uh, we increased as we got a bit, as we got higher. We got up to 16 satellites, and as we came back down, went back to 11, which is a little bit low. Normally we're more than that. But other than that, still good, good, good satellite range right the way through. Just at the very beginning there, it, it, it was at 11, and then it sort of increased as we, we got through into the flight. The KP index, uh, it just measures your geomagnetic disruption caused by solar activity around the world. Uh, basically, the higher the index, more likely the drone to have problems. So we're in the greens, fairly quiet, in index of two. Obviously, if it's very stormy, it's up near the red, major storm showing up there, you do not want to be flying. So one to four is generally safe. A KP of four to six, uh, you may experience minor GPS issues, so just keep that one in mind too. Some of these flyaways, I believe, can happen possibly due to being in the wrong place at the wrong time with a high KP index. Yeah, this is Healthy Drones, this is, I would highly recommend this if you've got a Phantom, a Mavic, a Spark, um, Inspire as well of course. Any, any, any craft that can um, have its data read through this, it, 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 if you pay for the, for the uh, prescription, um, it even tells you when, you when you need to do minor maintenance and any, any issues, but other than that you can do it for free, you can just register for free and um, enjoy having a look at your data, it keeps a record. If you have any issues, you can send the, the logs off to DJI. It may help in a, in a warranty recovery. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I've been very busy, so having trouble getting videos out too quick, so hopefully I can get another one out soon, do, do another waypoint mission maybe with the Mavic. Um, stay safe and keep flying, and bye for now.